Today on The Spot, we take a look at the new releases coming to store shelves, get a glimpse at the first demos available ever this week on Wii Shop Channel, we got demos of Tekken 6 on the PSP, and a demo of the new mode in Left 4 Dead 2, and we find out what's happening this week in our community spotlight. All that and more, today on The Spot. Hello and welcome to Today on the Spot. I'm your host, Sean McInnes, and I'm joined by our very first time co-host, community manager, Jody Robinson. <laughs> Jody, how are you doing? Great. Good to have you in the co-host seat. Yeah, yeah, I like having you as a host. I don't know. I like being the host too. It's a lot of fun. Now, it's a big week in games. We've got Assassin's Creed 2 and we've also got Left 4 Dead 2. Are you excited about those ones? Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, me too. Uh, we actually shot a demo for Left 4 Dead 2 that we're going to check out a bit later on in the show. We're having a look at the new Scavenge multiplayer mode. Now, we've also got some Left 4 Dead 2 goodies to give away a bit later on in the show. We've got some t-shirts, sweatbands, that sort of thing. So stay tuned to the trivia section later on so definitely a lot of big games hitting this week and there's also some big news as well so let's check out what Tor Thorson has to say right now hey everyone it's your GameSpot news update for Tuesday November 17th I'm Tor Thorson one week ago Electronic Arts announced it was laying off 70% of its staff eliminating 1500 jobs Today, the Redwood City, California-based publisher has revealed that as part of the reorganization it is folding Pandemic Studios into EA LA. EA said a core team of developers will continue to make Pandemic-branded games, but that 200 staffers from the studio, including its three founders, were let go. Pandemic's closure comes just over two years after EA announced it was buying the studio's parent company, Bioware Pandemic, in an $860 million deal. Before then, the studio, founded in 1998, was best known for developing such titles as Full Spectrum Warrior, Star Wars Battlefront, and Destroy All Humans. Unfortunately, Pandemic's tenure inside EA has been less than successful. The company's first major post-buyout release, 2008's Mercenaries 2 World in Flames, was panned by critics, as was the shop's second effort, Lord of the Rings Conquest. This past January, EA reportedly cut ties with Pandemic's Australian satellite studio. However, its upcoming game, The Saboteur, is still on track for its December 8th release on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Well, that's it, your GameSpot News update for Tuesday, November 17th. For more headlines like these, head on over to news.gamespot.com. Thank you, Tor. Now, as we hinted at earlier in the show, a lot of big games dropping this week, so let's check out all the new releases right now. Leading things off this week is Assassin's Creed 2 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Ubisoft's sequel to the 2007 acclaimed original follows new hero Ezio through the streets of Renaissance-era Venice as well as the Tuscan countryside. For more portable stabbing options, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines for the PSP is a continuation of the original Assassin's Creed and picks back up with Altair as he battles Templars in Cyprus. With Wii Fit Plus and Wii Sports Resort already out the door, Nintendo now has its final tentpole release of the year in queue, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. One of a handful of Mario-themed games announced during the publisher's E3 2009 press conference, New Super Mario Bros. Wii is a multiplayer-centric platform in which up to four gamers work cooperatively, yet also competitively, to work their way to the end of levels with the best time. DJ Hero may have let the beat drop in October, but Activision returns with a new peripheral-backed game in Tony Hawk Ride. A reboot of Activision's long-running franchise, the $120 Robomoto-developed skater for the Xbox 360, PS3, and Wii includes a wireless full-size skate deck. The board uses a combination of accelerometers and motion sensors and will require no other controller. Zombies are always well presented at retail, and that goes doubly so this week. EA and Valve team to release the frenetic survival horror shooter Left 4 Dead 2 on the Xbox 360 and PC. Meanwhile, Capcom will test the inhospitable M for Mature market on the Wii with Resident Evil Darkside Chronicles. Hardcore PS3 gamers may also be interested in the God of War Collection, a high-def compilation of the first two God of War games that includes a demo of God of War 3. For further details on the week's games, visit GameSpot's new releases page. Release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. 
And that's your look at the world of new releases. Now, today is a Tuesday show, and on every Tuesday show, we like to focus in on what's new in the Wii Shop channel. And this week, Nintendo is releasing demos for the first demos. time. Demos. You get to finally try before you buy. Mm -hmm. I know you don't own a Wii, Jody, no. but <laughs> if you did, trust me, you'd be very excited yeah, by this news. You would be. Mm -hmm. So let's go check out what's new in the Wii Shop channel right now. This week on Wii Shop Channel. For the first time, free demos are available this week. Axis Games offers up Bit Trip Beat. This rhythm game brings back the retro action as you use the Wii Remote Controller's motion sensor to bounce beats. Square Enix's Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles My Life as a Dark Lord puts you in the royal shoes of the Dark Lord's daughter as she installs traps and monsters inside her tower to fight back the endless waves of invading adventures in this world conquest role-playing game. Over the top games, Nyx Quest Kindred Spirits is the story of Nyx, an enigmatic winged girl who must descend from heaven in search of her missing friend Icarus. Lastly, 2D Boy's World of Goo lets players use living, squirming, talking globs of goo to build structures, bridges, cannonballs, zeppelins, and giant tongues. Gamers can also pick up a demo for Pokemon Rumble, the sole new game added to WiiWare this week. At 1,500 Wii points or $15, the full version of the game sees up to four players collecting and training Nintendo's iconic monsters across a variety of arena stages. Two blasts from the past arrive on the Wii's virtual console this week, courtesy of LucasArts and Capcom. Factor 5 side-scrolling action-adventure Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventures sees players reenacting Dr. Jones' most memorable exploits for 800 Wii points or $8. The TurboGrafx-16 version of Capcom's Street Fighter II Championship Edition can also be had for 700 Wii points. That's all the time we have. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we bring you the latest this week on Wii Shop Channel. Before we throw some Left 4 Dead 2 t-shirts your way later on, we're going to have a look at the actual game. Let's take a look at that right now. Alright folks, it's daily demo time. I'm here with your man Sean McInnes. We are playing some, le well, He's playing some Left 4 Dead 2. Technically, I am playing Left 4 Dead 2. You are watching in amazement at my skills. I know, and asking insightful questions that prompt you to give informative answers. <laughs> exactly, because like. that's what I do. <laughs> informative and mostly accurate. Yeah, so my first question is, what, what exactly is going on here? So the new gameplay mode that they've added in Left 4 Dead 2 is this thing called Scavenge, and it basically, it's like Versus, where both teams alternate between survivors and uh, the boss-infected zombies. Yep. Except this is very, very goal oriented. You're not trying to make your way from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. You've got, you've basically got this center and you've got a whole bunch of gas tanks scattered around this little chunk of a map that you're in. The interior of a mall, per yeah. se. Yeah, so we've got this going on right here. Um, and you basically, you, the survivors want to go and collect these gas cans. Right. So you're picking shot. up some adrenaline shots. Yeah, adrenaline, that's one of the new uh, bits of equipment in there. I'm yeah, that's a handy one. Load up here. I've got a pipe bomb. I need to find a weapon that yeah. is not these shotgun let's go with oh actually silenced doozy yeah, so this uh, one's fun. yeah my buddy lark who's playing under my gamer tag is going to follow me so what let's i'm doing is gas. i'm running over here i'm going to collect gas and i'm going to bring it back to that car over there i'm going to pour the gas into the car and basically we started at i think two minutes uh-huh and every time i pour a gas tank in there we get another 30 seconds oh that's a jockey Ooh, oh watch nice. out nice I avoided. Oh no! Oh, you did not. Oh, come on! Oh, he's got you. Lark is just really. Not Lark, helping I need you out. to help a brother come out. On, come Look, on! Look, he's trying Lark. to ninja sword you. Nice. Good work, Lark. So we should also mention that Justin uh, Calvert is playing, and he was actually the jockey who just totally Typical. jumped on you. Typical Calvert. Yep. Now um, the, the jockey, you jump on the guy's head, and you can sort of steer him away from the crowd. Let the other exactly. zombies get a crack at him. Uh, he's one of the new special infecteds for right. Left 4 Dead 2. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, you'll notice that when I successfully put that uh, gas tank or poured all of it into the car, yep. we got some added time, and I'm gonna pour this, and you're gonna you'll see that we got another. I guess 20 seconds, not 30, like I said before. Yep. And so yeah, oh. you can. There's. Come on, Charger. I'm gonna shoot you in your withered arm. Justin also showing off the Charger this time. Exactly. Another new special infected who uh, just really runs at you, grabs your head with his giant claw, and starts bashing it. Right, right. I know. He's uh, he's one of my favorite new boss infected. Yes. Yeah, so um, there's a maximum of 16 gas cans that you mm -hmm. can uh, pick up on this map. I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, that's a good one. This is uh, Ellis's role model right here. Jimmy Gibbs Jr. Jimmy Gibbs Jr. Um, so yeah, and then it's uh, it's split into three rounds, 
Um, the score is counted. The team that has the highest number of gas cans in an individual round will win that round, and it's best of three. It's pretty simple, but it's a much more fast-paced take on the normal uh, versus style. True. And it's very goal-oriented. You run, you get something, and you quickly run back. And uh, our, oh, our team is actually doing fairly well, but when you've got like full eight players, and maybe and some of them aren't such great teammates, um, then it can get pretty messy and pretty hectic. Yeah, and, that is very true. You know, and when you're playing as the boss infected, it's uh, it's pretty awesome as well. Trying to coordinate your attacks. Now, uh, one of the boss infected is the spitter, right? Who who sort of shoots off this green spew of acid. It's mm -hmm. corrosive. It forms this big pool. But the spitter also has some str some extra strategic angle. Here. Yeah, the spitter is the most important. That's not good. <laughs> uh, the spitter is the most important boss infected here because what she'll do is um, you can't pour the gas can when the spitter uh, spits around. Yeah, when uh, you're taking any kind of damage. When you're taking any kind of damage, you can't pour the can. And so it's really helpful for the... Oh, come on. To have the spitter spit in the general area of where you're trying to pour it. So see, this will happen when you're getting attacked. This will happen when you're getting attacked. Now, you come notice on. time has run out, folks, but Sean, you're still... It's still going because you have a gas can in your hands. Yep. Now you've so got an extra got 10 seconds, extra or 20 seconds. Lark has a, uh, a ninja sword on his back because he is Lark and he does that, even in real life. Yep. I think there's one on the floor in the corner if you want to make a run for oh, that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dash for this. Oh, look. oh, that's a hunter. That's Justin. Really getting to sample all... He's the only one on the special infected team, yeah. but he's really getting to sample all of them, which is I'm sure is fun for him. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, we've got a... Uh, we've filled out the rest of our teams here with AI squad mates. So yeah, we have extended this match by, um, you know, by successfully bringing these gas cans back. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't the only scavenge map. There's a, each campaign, each of the five campaigns in the game is represented here. And, uh, and some different scenes from each one. Exactly, yeah. And uh, yeah, so this is, this is scavenge mode. It's a great new like you said, it's a shorter way to experience it. So right. as opposed to playing a whole campaign and flip-flopping versus, you know, versus, right. you do this, you got three quick rounds, boom, it's decided. Exactly, yeah. So next up would be, uh, you'd switch teams and go again, but mm -hmm. this demo's about over. And we would have won anyways, because Justin sucks. Yeah, well, oh, come on. You got you to you got Justin number. Justin kind of sucks. Okay, there you go. Yeah. That's more diplomatic. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming on the show, showing off this really fun game. It's out this week. It is out uh, today. Today. This today. very day, folks. You can get your hands on Left 4 Dead 2. That was a scavenge mode demo. And now back to the show. Well, that's what's going on in the zombie community. Now let's check out what's going on in the GameSpot community with community manager Jody Robinson. Jody, what's new? Uh, we have a lot of blogs that usually happen on the site. And what's pretty exciting this week is the Command & Conquer uh, four uh, beta keys that we're giving away. Oh yeah, and actually on the Thursday show we're doing a giveaway for 65,000 Battlefield Bad Company 2 beta keys. Yeah, a lot of keys. <laughs> a lot of keys going on. So let's check out that community spotlight right now. Hey there, this is Jody Robinson, GameSpot's community manager. This week's spotlight is about beta key offers. And our member Spotlight shares his opinion on why shorter single player games are exactly what gamers need. If you are a fan of real-time strategy or first-person shooters, the latest beta key giveaways may just bring a smile to your face. This week, we are giving away beta keys for Command & Conquer 4 on the PC, which is currently available to GameSpot Total Access subscribers who live all over the world. This Thursday, we are also giving away beta keys for Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the PlayStation 3. This offer is open to all GameSpot registrants who reside in the United States. This week's member spotlight goes to Setho10 for his blog about the short single player campaign in Modern Warfare 2. If what he says is true, over 80% of gamers don't actually finish games. To read more about his blog, go to the forums page and click on the member spotlight. That's all for this week's Community Spotlight. This is Jody Robinson, signing off. Now earlier this week, Namco paid us a visit to show off a little bit of Tekken 6 on the PSP. We got a cool demo of that, so let's have a look at that one right now.
All right, everybody, this is Ryan McDonald here, and uh, we have a very special guest from Namco. We got Injun Wan, who is the Hi. brand manager on Tekken. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. It's nice to, nice to, I've, I, you've met me yes, before. Yes, all the time. <laughs> Many times. Now, uh, obviously, Tekken 6 uh, is out there now for the PlayStation 3, but you guys are also gearing up for a little Tekken action on the PSP, is that right? Absolutely. I mean, it, the Tekken 6 is out on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of people are uh, enjoying the game right now. And yes, we are very uh, proud to uh, to confirm that it's actually coming out on uh, PlayStation Portable. And it's, it might be sooner than people think. You guys are saying winter, correct? Yes, we are saying winter. Now, now winter is, is it could be like December winter, January winter, you, any, any kind of like any? Uh, we are working really, really hard right. to make sure we release it as soon as possible. Excellent. That sounds yes. pretty. That sounds pretty quick. Yes, right, we're right. working hard. Yes. Excellent. And uh, and then, but before we, we're actually looking at the game right here. What is the uh, the footage that we're looking at? It looks like a. A bunch of characters. You guys got basically 40 characters. Is that right? Yes. So all 40 characters that we have, right down to every single move, is uh, exactly uh, translated into the PSP version. So Elisa, for example, when you actually go into practice mode and pull out the combo list, 114 combos. That's cool. Just like the console version on PSP. Now, uh, in terms of modes and all that for the PlayStation Portable version, they're actually very similar too in what they offer, correct? Yes, exactly. So there's a uh, the uh, the uh, single player mode that you can actually play. Uh, there is a Gold Rush. Uh, Time, uh, time challenge, there's survival mode, and also story mode. So story mode, you can actually unlock uh, the prologue story and ending sequence, which is fully CG for all those characters, all mm -hmm. 40 characters uh, on PSP. So that's actually very exciting. I was uh, I started unlocking a couple of them. I saw uh, the Hayachi stuff we got right here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, the uh, Gold Rush mode has, has been really well uh, liked mode uh, in the, uh, in the past as that's well. That's one that's new to the PSP, right? Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's a, that's actually different from the console version. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, on Gold Rush, you can actually pull a variety of different combos and uh, move sets. Actually, you've been practicing, and based on your moves, it actually rewards you with gold. And with that gold, you can actually start uh, customizing your character in a profile section. Mm -hmm. So, and once you uh, customize your characters in a variety of different looks, you can take it. Uh, on wireless battle, ad hoc battle against your friends. That's cool. That's super yeah. cool. Now uh, you, you mentioned ad hoc. Yes. No infrastructure mode, but you uh, you guys definitely have the ghost data. Yeah, the ghost data trade has been a very well liked feature in uh, Tekken brand for a while. So uh, definitely yes. So you can. Um, so just to uh, just quickly explain about the ghost data. Yeah, it's kind of confusing for some. Yeah. <laughs> so it's basically it. The game itself learns how you play. So. Uh, if, for example, for example, if I'm a defensive player and I actually I duck a lot and I actually um, pull out moves, uh, just counterattack a lot, the computer will actually the the, the game game itself will learn that and then reflect it in the ghost data. So uh, once I use ad hoc functionality and upload my uh, ghost data and my friend, uh, you get it and you actually take that ghost data away with you on your PSP, you can actually practice against that ghost data. So you can come back and play against me and you'll be able to actually know how I play and beat me up. All right, Injun Wan, thank you for coming by. Before you go, though, I yes. do, uh, as a huge console player and uh, a fan of the online stuff you guys got in uh, Tekken 6 on the PS3, uh, can you tell me, is there anything new or anything happening with Tekken 6 on the PS3? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have announced already that uh, the, the console version has come out a couple of weeks ago, and uh, the on online versus mode was introduced there. And we have taken a lot of feedback from the consumers, and then actually we are using that to improve the uh, online uh, gameplay and with, with an update. So. Uh, it's actually coming very soon, uh -huh. and it will make the gameplay uh, quality even more tight. All right, Engine One, the game is Tekken 6 for the uh, PSP. It's out for the PlayStation 3. We got an update on the uh, downloadable content, or I should say downloadable upgrade you'll see for Tekken 6 on the PS3. But uh, thanks again for coming by, and uh, on with the show. Okay, so we mentioned this at the top of the show, but right now we're going to give away some Left 4 Dead 2 t-shirts. Jody, you've got a sweet logo shirt right there. I also have a pretty sweet Coach Zombie Defense t-shirt, and we've got plenty more right here courtesy of our friends at Glitch Gaming Apparel. The question I have for you is this. What are the names of the four new survivors in Left 4 Dead 2? I'm not talking about Bill and Francis and Zoe and those old farts. I'm talking about the new characters in Left 4 Dead 2. So submit an answer to onthespot at gamespot.com or use that little trivia module over here on the right and try to win yourself some of these sweet t-shirts. So uh, throw some answers our way. And that will just about do it for today's episode of Today on the Spot. Jody, I know you're excited. Mm -hmm. You just finished finals, and you yes. can finally get back yes. to more Dragon Age Origins. More Dragon Age Origins. You excited about that? 
I am also excited so that my evil elf can continue being more and more evil. Yes. I'm very pumped. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the only one who's pumped. Our viewers are going to be really pumped as soon as we start giving away those Battlefield Bad Company 2 PS3 beta keys on the Thursday episode of the show. So make sure to come back and check that out. I'm Sean McInnes for Jody Robinson. Thanks for watching and see you later. Uh, what, what the is this mode about? <laughs> no, uh, sorry. What is this mode about and Let me explain that answer for you because I know I'll do it nice and slow because you're a dumb honky. Well, um, I appreciate that. Right. So basically, you old. this is what this mode is about. Really? Um, now, if a person were not a mouth-breathing cretin, what would he <laughs> say about that mode? I know this is going to be a stretch for you. Right. 